What's up? So I got a request from my friend Johnny to make a tutorial on how to make a blog using Meteor.js and I also got a request from him to increase the font size. So I'm going to do both of those uh, right now. So I'm going to assume you have Meteor. Um, if you don't, go to Meteor.com and uh, throw this little line into a terminal. Uh, I already have it, so I'm not going to do it again. Um, and then we're just going to get right into it. Uh, we're going to do Meteor create blog. And then we're going to cd into the blog. And then start the server. Uh, if you've watched my previous videos, this is uh, not anything new. So we're going to go to localhost. I'm going to see we got our basic blog or our basic meteor site set up. Um, I'm sorry, let me close that real quick. All right, um, forgive me for that. Um, so now we're going to open up a new tab. And we have those three same files, blog.css, HTML, and uh, JavaScript. So we're gonna we're gonna remove those actually. And then we're gonna have a blank uh, canvas, basically. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to make a directory client, make a directory library, make a directory, server. Uh, I've gone over what all of these do before, so I'm not going to go into it really. Um, yeah, so uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cd into client, then I'm going to create a simple HTML uh, page and I'm just going to start. So basically create a head, head, uh, give it a title. I'm going to name this one Johnny's blog and then give it a body. And then let's just say H1, hello world. Again, this is all the same stuff I've gone over before. So we have hello world. Um, and then I'm actually going to use the uh, uh, Meteorite package, Bootstrap 3, but you can do this with Bootstrap 2 too. I just prefer uh, Bootstrap 3. So I'm going to Meteor, uh, Meteorite add. Bootstrap three. And wait for that to run. So then you'll see that. Oh wait, no, it's gonna screw up. So get rid of that, and then run that. And then when this uh, reloads, you'll see that we have Bootstrap. So I'm gonna go to getbootstrap.com, and then I'm just gonna take. Uh, I'm just going to take a uh, form from them. Like this one's like pretty good, so I'm just going to copy that. Uh, create a new template. Uh, call it blog. Then I'm just going to paste all that stuff in there. And that'll give us, uh oh, and then include it, and that will give us a basic form. Uh, I'm going to clean this up a little bit. Uh, class container div, and then. Div class 
row. Div. And then I'm actually going to run this through JS Beautifier because I don't feel like doing it manually. And if you don't use this, I highly recommend it because it's great. Um, and now, now we should have a better looking. Now it's yeah, good to go. Uh, we're gonna change this email for a title, and then we're gonna turn this into a text area. Get rid of this, and then turn this into a submit button. Still, this is all just HTML. Um, we're gonna call this input title. Title uh, make that text input title and placeholder. We're going to call this. Uh, Example post title. And then we're going to do the same. Turn this. Actually, no, we're going to turn this into a text area. And the text area they have in here works really well. So I'm just going to copy and paste this. Now we have a title, and we need to rename this from password to uh, body. And now we have that, and then I'm going to get rid of this little remember me button. And then I'm going to turn this into submit post. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't increase the size. So I'm going to increase the size there. That should be a little better, I hope. Um, anyway, so now we have pretty much everything that we need. Title, body, submit, post. Oh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an ID. Uh, to both the inputs so that I can reference it later. And now what we need to do is we need to set up a manager. So uh, I'm just going to create a main.javascript and then we're going to open that up. So then we're going to do template dot, I think that's what I called it, right? Yeah, template dot blog dot events. And then we're going to say submit blog form. And I didn't, I forgot to give this an ID, so let me give this ID of blog form. And then we're gonna function, it's gonna take one parameter, which is the event, which is gonna be a submit event. And then we're gonna do e.prevent default. And then we can alert that we got there. So then if we click this, we know now that the alert works and we can continue. So then we're gonna do a var title equals, and then this is like jQuery, so we do title or blog title dot val then we're gonna do body equals uh, 
What did I make? Blog body, all right. That bell. And then we can do count or alert title plus uh, body. And then if we put a title in, we'll say title and then body of body. I don't know what that means, but submit and then we have this alert that comes up. So it's so, so we see that we got our title and our body uh, properly. So now we don't really need those. Um, and now we actually need to create a collection for this uh, information to live in. So we're gonna CD out, and then we're gonna see. We're gonna go into our library. And then we're gonna do touch blog uh, .js. And then what we're gonna do is create a new media collection. I'm gonna do blogs equal new meteor dot collection blogs. And that will just create uh, something for us. So then what we're going to do, oh, and then now we're going to do something on the server side that will accept information. So we're going to cd into server, touch server.js. And then what we're going to do is meteor.methods. Call this uh, submit post function, and it takes in two the title and the body. And then we can just do console.log title and console.log body. And since this is running on the server, this is going to run in here. Uh, so when it gets called, it'll run in this console. So then if you do uh, first post body, and then you submit it, you'll notice that nothing happens because we're not sending this information to the server uh, to handle it. So we have this method that we've created called submit post, and now we need to call it in our Java and our on our client side JavaScript. So what we do here is we do meteor that call submit post, and then we're gonna just title body, and now if we do uh, post one, and then hello and submit this, you'll see that it comes out on our on our server. So now we can insert this into the database. And so what basically what that is, that's just uh, blogs.insert, and then in curly brackets we do title, colon title, and body, colon, So now if we do, so if we do, uh, this is the first post, and then we do, I really like meteor.js, and then we submit this, nothing noticeable happened, but if we go to our meteor mongo, we just type meteor mongo, and then we do db.blogs.find1, You'll see that we have this, which is uh, our title. This is the first post, and the body, which is I really like Meteor JS. And now uh, it's kind of useless if it doesn't like show up. So what we're gonna do is we're going to create another template, and I'm just gonna do it inside the same template file that I have. So we just do template name equals list blogs, and then close that and then we're going to do each 
actually. Save that, make sure that I closed it properly because I screwed up last time. Okay, good. Um, so then inside of our JavaScript file, we're going to do a new uh, helper. So it's going to be template.listblogs.blogs. And you can name this anything you want. Uh, I mean, you can name this third. So basically it goes template and then the template name, which for us is list blogs. And then you can name this part whatever you want. I'm going to name it blogs and you'll see why equals function. And then it's going to return uh, all the blogs. And then what we're going to do here is going to do each blogs. Now this is named directly after this third uh, thing right here. So then we're going to do, I'm going to end this each and then we're going to give an h2 and then the title and then the and then the body. And then when we go here, and I think I crashed my server, so I'm gonna reload this. Oh. Oh, what did I do wrong? Each blog's title, body. Oh, I'm not even listing it. So, so then we just throw it in here, which is list blog, blogs. And then when we go back, you'll see that this is our first blog, which is really nice. And uh, I mean, if you want to format it some more, we can just do uh, the same thing we did before div class container div class row and then close them div div and what that will do is it'll format a little bit nicer and now if we do another one it'll be uh, this is the second post I hate typos and then if we submit published, you'll see that it comes up right here. Um, that's good for posting. So uh, one little like side thing. If you want to make sure that you have uh, a title for everything so that you don't have something like this, which just comes out without any uh, title, or if you want to get rid of this and you uh, submit that, then you now have two more blog posts uh, that don't really have anything. So you can make sure uh, that you can do some validations. So if you want to do like if uh, title and body, which basically means uh, actually if title.length and body.length then you can call this method which basically is saying if the length is greater than zero and the body length is greater than zero then you can call this uh, function which will allow you to input things into the database and then so now when I do Chris's first validated post and then it will be like a bunch of stuff and then if I try to do this uh, it without this like I did before it won't submit and I'll show you how to add comments to these blog posts uh, in the next video thanks